Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will see define model and how we could use it in our existing code base from Vue 3. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so I will be using the project that I use for code refactor for Vue 3. So if you haven't checked that video, please do check that video. I'll put the link in the description. Now in this project, what we did was we created like a basic form, then we refactor that code and reach to a stage where we have a user form, where we could use a form group, which is again a component using label input component, which is our own components. Within the input component, we have this traditional way of using, or I won't say traditional way, but like a previous way of using V model on a component where we have at input, then it emits an event of update model value, binds the value with the model value props. So whatever the props, like the, the model value props that we got over here, that define emits event and so on. Same thing we did for the form group. Now there is a easier way with view 3.4 and above. So for that, what we need to do is first, if you see in my package.json as well, which is this one over here, currently I'm on view 3.2. So what I need to do is I need to upgrade all my packages and make sure that it's fit with v3.4. So let's do that. So one way to do it, I use generally npm check updates. So it's npx npm check updates and then dash u. Now this package, what it does, it treats your package.json, updates all the packages. And the ma main thing you need to be careful about here is always have a backup before you update anything. I already have a backup of this on GitHub. So if you have a backup, that's good. If you don't always backup before you do this step. Right, so it read my package.json and it told me, okay, these are the packages you need to upgrade. And whenever it, wherever it says the red color one, generally it's a major leap. So we have to be very careful when we are doing that upgrade. If not, then it's fine. So what we will do is once this is done, we will see our package.json, it reflects correctly over here. That's great. Let's remove the node modules folder and then just run npm install. Right, now we'll run our dev server. So npm run dev and we have error. So that's what happens when you update the package. So you just need to be careful with this. Now we need to solve this error. So let's solve this. So let's remove this from here, the extents that we had for tsconfig.json. Also let's remove, I think there is someone over here as well. Uh, this is fine, tailwind. app.json also remove this. Okay. And there we have it. The project is now running. So let's go back over here. And now we are on the latest version of Vue. So that's great. So what we need to do here is, if you go to the documentation of define model, you will see that we just need one statement, model, define model, and we can use straight away on the v mod, as a V model over there. So what we need to do in our input.view, just need to take this from here. I will comment this. I'm gonna say const model equal to define model. And then, over here, we can simply have v model equal to model like this. Same for the form group. We won't need emit. We won't need model value prop. All we will need is const model equal to define model. I'm using this because this form group also over here, if you see, we have v model on that. So any component we want v model, we just need to use this logic over there. So that's great. And then over here, instead of all of this, we could simply say V model, model, perfect. Now, if we go back to our code, let's try to see if it works. So what I'm gonna do is in this user form, let's console the form over here. So I believe that comes from the user from over here this one over here so i'm just gonna say console.log user user let's see if these fields are filled up correctly so let's see the console let's add some fake values sign up and there we have it everything is there so we have the name we have the value and we have the password so perfectly we have v model working on our components with just one statement. No need of emits, nothing. We can have multiple V models as well. Just say, let's say uh, some custom, something like this. 
then over here all i need to do is say v model custom like this okay so if you want to have multiple v models then you can just need to pass the label over here if you want just one we can just keep this blank like this and then that should be fine as well in the documentation it also shows how we can pass the options as well as the label so that we can have multiple v models like how they have over here so in that case the first argument first parameter is the first parameter value is the label the second argument is the options and the options are required default and there are other keys as well in that so that's all in this video hope you enjoy this short video if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to our channel so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye